Today I am here on a job site where we are setting a large format tile. It's approximately 30 inches by 15 inches. Uh, these, these tiles on thirds on a floor for a customer. We've used uh, a Ditra liner um, as the substrate. Um, this is that famous orange waffle pattern. And right now I'm going to demonstrate how to cut a tile. And we are dry fitting this last section of the floor. Um, I have these two tiles set. Well, they're, they're, they're set, uh, they're dry set. Um, which is to say we don't have any, any thin set down there. But what I'm looking at is the gap that we have here and how to cut this tile. So the way I'm gonna look at this uh, is I have an eighth of an inch space that I wanna leave. And I have a little bit of play on this back end because I have this molding here that will cover up quite a bit. But I want a nice tight fitting tile. So what I do is I set this up against the wall. I look at this space right here where I'm gonna have the gap. And I mean, I could measure this with a tape measure, but right there is where I want that line to be. We're gonna use a slide cutter on this because I'm gonna do a series of videos that demonstrate how to cut tile. Uh, and this is a very straightforward cut. This is the slide cutter that we have set up right here. Um, there are a variety of slide cutters. This brand is Ruby. Um, basically, the way a slide cutter works is it scores the tile and then it pushes down on both sides and it snaps. Before we demonstrate that, I'm gonna show you the instrument. Uh, this, this little, I don't know if it's a bit, but it is a scoring wheel and you can get replacements for these. This is probably pretty dull, but it's actually gonna do the job. Um, this goes in and it goes up and down relative to where you wanna set it to score the tile. Um, you'll notice this has wings. Those wings expand and they kind of give you uh, something to prop the tile up on. If it were going a little bit far, but we're gonna center this tile right here. That's where we want to cut. And because I know that I want to take this cut and I'm okay with it being a little bit more on this side, I'm just going to kind of jog that right there. So um, the cut will be a little to the left of where we want it. And we know we have that play because we put the molding down. I'm going to adjust this little scoring wheel. I'm going to tighten, the way this works is this tightens, this handle turns, and when it's all the way clockwise, it's tightening on that. And then we have, that's right there. And that's the middle. This is the middle line. And we have it where we want it set. And the only thing that we need to do now is we need to take this, put some pressure on this, and score it. We're going to do this again. Now, we raise this up a little bit. You can notice that this is gonna push on both sides of that score line. And it just breaks the tile. This is an incredibly clean cut. We could smooth this out a little bit with a stone, and I'll show you that. But it is an incredibly clean and straight cut. This is a smoothing stone. Now this edge is going to be under the molding. There's really no reason for me to do this other than to demonstrate to you how to smooth that edge so that it won't cut you. So we have the tile. We're gonna check to see where we are on this. And I'm gonna put spacers on all sides and dry fit this. We have this gap here. I'm gonna fill that with thin set, but when the molding goes down, you won't see the edge, and that's how we use a slide cutter. If you found this video helpful, let us know by clicking like and consider subscribing to our channel. Feel free to message us in the comments section with any constructive questions or suggestions.